Today I'm going to share with you three trade secrets on how to boost your muscle strength, whether you're working out at home or at the gym. My name is Margaret Martin. I'm a registered physiotherapist and I help people build stronger bones and stronger bodies. Secret number one, reduce your number of reps. So many of my clients come to see me and they are working out in the upper range of doing 15, 20 repetitions. I'm excited that they're working out, but I need them closer to a power lifter. There's a sweet spot. And if you're not you know, really familiar with sets and reps, I really encourage you to look at my video on sets and reps. But for those of you wanting to know this secret, you need to move and reduce your number of reps. You need to move them down closer to the power lifter. Ideally, I need you lifting in the eight to 10 range. If you're under the age of 30, and you uh, have a spotter and you're you know being followed by a you know trained coach then you, that's fine to work less than eight reps you know lifting maybe your five rep max those kind of things but that is not sustainable when you get over the age of 50 it's definitely not sustainable or safe if you don't have a trainer in the eight to ten range you can safely work out at your gym or at your home but without putting that risk of injuring yourself secret number two is changing your cadence or tempo so many of my clients will say to me oh margaret you work out so slowly you know that they're following one of my videos and they're going i can get 15 of those you know squats in in the time that you're doing 10 and I'm, then i'm asking them when they're with me in person i go well let's do that together and I notice that they don't often have the strength to go slowly. If we slow down our movements, we're now increasing the time under load. So the time to, from the start to go, if it's a bicep curl, you know, if I'm going, you know, doing quick curls, then I could, you know, pull off 25 pounds, no problem, because I'm not holding it very slowly. If I'm going slowly, I can do maybe four reps with a 25 pounder because that time under load is increasing my overall workout, the overall demand of my muscles. I'm recruiting so many more muscle fibers to get that repetition done. So that's the second tip. On to the third. The third, oh yes, eccentrics. Eccentrics are so, they're not eccentric, as in um, mentally eccentric, but eccentric muscle contraction is the opposite of a concentric muscle contraction. Still confused? All right, bicep curl is always a great muscle group as an example, we're all familiar with it. If I bring the weight up, my muscle is shortening. That shortening of a muscle in the medical field is called a concentric contraction when I have the same weight, but I'm slowly controlling the descent of that weight, my muscle is lengthening, and in the lengthening, that muscle is having to work even harder than it did concentrically. That is an eccentric contraction. We can do eccentric contractions with every body part. We just have to play with where gravity is and what we're using as our resistance, whether it's our body weight, if I do an eccentric contraction for my legs, I'm going to be slowly going down into the squat. If I do an eccentric contraction of my deltoid, I would bring my arm down, up to start, and then it's the slow return. That is what an eccentric contraction, and the reason it's being used so much today in the medical field, in rehabilitation, in senior rehab, is that we get most bang for a buck, meaning it doesn't take a lot of energy to generate a lot of muscle force. The eccentrics give us that rapid gain in muscle bulk and strength. It also allows us to stimulate type 2 muscle fibers as well as re reduce the age-related changes in muscle. The eccentrics is what allows you to not only gain that muscle, get stronger, but allow you to control your body in space. And that is so very important in reducing fall risks. So for so many reasons, the third 
strength secret being eccentrics. We don't always love to do them because they make it hard, but they are so very effective. So now that you know these three trade secrets, I'm actually gonna share one more, and that is don't incorporate them all at the same time. If you're regularly doing between 12 and 15 repetitions, and you know that you, know, you need to start reducing your repetitions. So example, you're using an eight pound dumbbell to do overhead lifts. And now I need you to do eight to 10 repetitions. It doesn't mean you obviously use the same weight because you're not gonna fatigue. You need a heavier weight. So you're gonna move from eight to 10 pounds. You're going to try to fatigue between your eight and 10 repetitions. So you're doing your set and you're doing your overhead lifts. And as you do these overhead lifts, you go, okay, can I get to 11? You go, actually, I can get to 11. So that means that you need to add another one of the secrets. So you need to slow down your cadence because you're still not in your sweet spot of eight to 10 repetitions. I don't want you getting above 10 reps. It means you're not making the most of your workout. So you're going to take your 10 pounds and rather than go up two, down two, you might go up two, three, and down two, three. So now you've just tweaked it so that, oh, by the eighth or ninth one, you're like, whoa, that was way heavier. One other tip. You might go with that for a couple of weeks and then you go, hmm, I'm actually get, reaching 11 and 12 reps again because you're starting to get stronger. So now you can start adding the third secret, the eccentrics. And so you might go up for two second count, but come down on a four or five second count so that again, you're challenging your body with the same weight, but introducing a new variable of the eccentric or the control of the lowering. So with one or both or all three of these secrets, I am sure that you're going to be able to move the dial, get stronger and reach your goals. So thanks for joining me today. I'm Margaret at Mueller Guide and have a lovely day.